Good day, and welcome to episode 37 of the 100 Spin Test, where I take roulette strategies and deliberately play them poorly. There are too many distractions which prevent people from playing roulette perfectly. So the goal of this channel is to honestly see if certain flat betting strategies can deal with real-world distractions and human imperfection. There are also too many charlatans misinforming novice players online. So, I also want to assist others to be able to assess the quality of the advice they are receiving. Today's test strategy is from a December 29, 2022 episode of the Roulette Win YouTube channel titled Best Roulette Strategy 2023. Here we go with another BS meter alarm. That being said, the BS alarm doesn't need to be set very sensitively to catch this dumpster fire. The Scobolotcher who published this claims a $60 win on every spin even though zero is uncovered. Anyhow, no matter what strategy anyone touts, there is always that pesky house edge which varies between 1.35% on a French wheel to 7.69% if you're crazy enough to play on a triple zero wheel, therefore, a large number of consecutive unmodified bets can drain a bankroll. That is basic mathematics. With any luck, we can uncover and exploit an exception. It's not going to happen today. Why, you ask? Well, check out Jack Ace's video on bet nullification. A link is below. Since I play online, I'll use a European wheel. Maybe one day, I'll run a test on a French wheel if it has lots of one-to-one -one bets. Today is not that day. There are 36 winning numbers out of a possible 37, giving you a 97% likelihood of winning on each spin. I wouldn't say win, because 8 of those are big ass losses. Therefore, a realistic winning expectation is 28 out of 37 or 76%. This source box is already full of crap, but this 76% is deceptive because a loss loses 3 to 6 times what a win nets the player. If there is any positive to come of this, the comments to his video also indicate that nobody is fooled. To simplify things for analysis and scaling, I've reduced the unit size to $1, euro, or pound. It's easy to bet $390 when it's not real money. Hell, I wouldn't risk 39 cents of my own money on this, but will split the difference logarithmically at least, and waste $39, pounds, or euros per spin of fake money. Place 15 units on the third dozen, then one unit each on the 1 to 3, 4 to 6, 7 to 9, 10 to 12, 13 to 15, 16 to 18, 19 to 21, and 22 to 24 streets. Finally, place one unit each on 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9, 11, 12, 14, 15, 17, 18, 20, 21, 23, and 24. There are ways of simplifying the bets by betting on dozens instead of streets, and corners instead of straight-up bets, but because I think that this bet is insane, I won't bother with my improvement suggestions. You will win 9 units if the ball lands on one of the straight-up numbers, and 6 if it lands on any third dozen number. You will lose 27 units if the ball lands on 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, and 22. Kiss your whole 39 units goodbye if you get a zero. As always, the chart below shows the progress of the strategy as misplayed and gives a hint at how volatile the bet is. Now let's speed things up and watch the progress. I'll be back at the end to summarize. To repeat the obvious, this bet is so bad that I'm not even going to risk pennies running it. So, sorry in the most Canadian way possible but there will not be a real money bonus after the summary.
we come out ahead, but I still don't like this bet. The winning margin was less than two bets. If it weren't for an incredibly non-representative sample, then it would have certainly have been disastrous. In fact, a subsequent test lost me $195 of fake money, but I'll go with this because it would be dishonest to seek out only results that conform to my expectations. We won 81 times and lost 33. Of the 81 wins, 48 were 9-unit wins and 33 were 6-unit wins. There were 15, 27-unit losses and 4, 39-unit losses. A reasonable expectation was 43, 9-unit wins, 33, 6-unit wins, 22, 27-unit losses and 3, 39-unit losses. We won 5 times more frequently than expected. We reached a low of minus 75 before climbing up to 69 which was the high watermark and final result. The positive final amount was due to a 16-win run at the end. We were in a deficit for 63% of the session. All systems lose if the sample size is large enough to flatten out anomalies in the data. I suggest that you check out the Roulette Science channel for an explanation of the phenomenon where a gambler runs a small sample that outperforms expectations, which then leads them to conclude that they have a winner on their hands. I ran a few statistical tests on the results. The chi-square test indicated that these results were likely random. The average number of spins before we got a hit was 1.2 with a standard deviation of 0.5. That means it took 1 or 2 spins to get a win 65% of the time and 3 spins or less 95% of the time. Actually, all wins came in at 3 spins or less. There, the math works. The maximum number of consecutive wins was 16 and losses was 5. There were 3 repeaters. 5, 20, and 30 each repeated once. The hot 3 numbers were 35 with 7 hits, 5 with 6 hits and 15 with 5 hits. The cold 3 were 2, 12, and 22 with no hits each. I am still bothered by the deceptive caption on the video. It's not even remotely true. If this prevaricator is lying about something easily verifiable, what else is he faking? Roulette is hard enough without this BS. Keep in mind that casinos are not there to make you rich. So test strategies on a simulator and read the critiques of any strategy that you are planning to use. Also, all roulette players should remember that no system works all the time and some don't work at all. Adjust your risk level accordingly. Good luck until the next time.